You wouldn't believe that I'm out here at 1 a.m. making a rebuttal video to a video I just released. And I'm going to tell you all about it here on the other side. So without any further ado, let's go. Welcome back to the channel. This is John from Flippin' Ain't Easy. It's 1 in the morning uh, Pacific time, 4 a.m. Eastern. What in the world, John, are you up in the middle of the night making a video? And I had this conversation with Jenna. I'm about to turn in, looking at Facebook, checking out the eBay forums. I like to, to scan some of the forums maybe to see what's being said and help people out if they have questions. It's kind of thing that I, that I do off and on. And in this particular case, I came across the post that was discussing the video that I put out yesterday about the eBay bad buyer experience policy. And there's a lot of hubbub back and forth about what it meant, what it didn't mean. Um, you could see a lot of the same conversation in the comments from my video. But uh, one of the moderators of the uh, forum or the, uh, the group uh, contacted eBay for Business. And as you can see in this screenshot, this is what they had to say. Essentially, it's, uh, they're saying that this policy applies to sellers who do not reside in the U.S., who sell on USEbay.com. So it, in, a, in essence, it's our international competitors who choose to list on eBay.com. And for many, many years, we've been asked to compete with these people on a level playing field, even though um, you know a lot of times uh, they're, they're shipping into the United States with very, very cheap postage, that type of thing. And so they are going to be measured up against other sellers on eBay.com uh, within their category. And I would say that's probably a good thing, at least for us here in the United States that sell on eBay.com. Now, I got to tell you, I'm a little disappointed in myself. But that's yet for another topic. Uh, again, here I am taking the time not only to make sure that I'm speaking with I, what I think are the right people at eBay, uh, and that is, in my experience, uh, U.S. reps that work at eBay, um, I would think that they would know the eBay product enough to know what eBay sites are what. And in this particular case, export.ebay.com is a site that's dedicated for those sellers who sell on eBay.com from outside the US apparently. So it's a lesson learned for me, a learning experience, but I gotta tell you guys, I'm up here at one in the morning, that's like 1.15 by the time I get set up here, four o'clock in the morning Eastern, because it's important enough for me to make sure that I set the record straight and that I correct myself, but get the correct information out there. Now at the time, you know, uh, folks like myself, uh, channels like Tech and Sports, I like to think he's a really respected guy in the industry. Uh, my hat's always off to that guy because the guy just knows his stuff. So when you see a video like that, it sort of confirms what you're seeing is something that should be correct. And I was wrong this time, guys, and uh, my apologies to you. With that said, though, it tells me a lot. This tells me a lot about what eBay is trying to do. And as you see in the thumbnail that you clicked on to watch this video, to me it makes sense. And not just what they're doing to the international sellers who are selling on eBay.com, but I see the writing on the wall even more clearly in that this is coming to us, guys eBay continues to lose buyers on the platform and it's because of bad buying experiences. That's why they called it that policy for those folks. But that ain't going to fix the problem. We have bad sellers within this country selling on eBay.com. And we've talked about that between um, just questionable shipping habits to questionable communication habits to everything else in between. You know, how we deal with and interact with our buyers. And the, the thing that they're doing with these folks, if this is what's happening, now again, here I am, this is just one post, 
Um, maybe that's not true. Maybe what I reported in the first place is correct. I guess we'll find out between now and the 11th of December. However, I have my suspicions that this post is more legitimate. It just seems that way. It just feels legitimate to me. And so for now, I would say there's not a whole lot to worry about. But my question to you is, eBay is asking us to do the basics here, okay? With or without this policy. They want us to use images that are clear and sharp. They want us to uh, list down all the product specifications clearly in our item specifics and our item description. They want us to include size and measurements to, pre to prevent any misconceptions, to prevent INADs, SNADs, right? Uh, add in the uh, usage, usage guidelines like your return policy and things like that. To be honest with the condition of your item, okay? State all the flaws and imperfections like scratches, discolorations, dents if any for used items. To manage your inventory and in your out of stock listings, if you sell something on Mercari, get that off of eBay right away. And then of course, ship your items within whatever your specified handling time is. Now, this may be a beta to see how it goes. I hope to God that they are not going to uh, implement anything that is uh, related to item not received because in most cases, once we drop it off at the carry, we get that initial carrier pickup scan, it is out of our control as sellers. And it's just it just doesn't seem like it would be a fair way to, to measure a good seller versus a bad one on the platform. But this is where eBay is going with it. Whatever they determine to, to do with it, this is their sandbox. They can choose what they want to do, what they feel is best to retain as many buyers on the platform, which I believe is their mission here in, in, in installing something like this. But I can tell you, if they continue to see an influx of buyers leaving the platform, then rest assured, this is coming for us guys. Whether it be the 11th of December or the 11th of December in 2024, the writing's on the wall. And to be honest with you, based on what I've seen with sellers on this platform, it makes perfect sense. So just a late night video, a quick video to just hopefully clear the record. Uh, I, I'd like to think that um, I'm better than just leaving things out to dry because it may make me look bad. Um, I am not above correcting myself in front of thousands of people if I'm giving out information that turns out to be incorrect. And I just want you guys to understand that I do what I can to try to vet this information. Um, sometimes, like in this case, uh, this information can be questionable. Um, and I'm still not 100% convinced that the video I put out yesterday is incorrect. Like I said, we'll find out between now and the 11th of December, but I have a strong suspicion that the screenshot that I showed you is the correct answer. And uh, I just want most people to be aware. And again, most people shouldn't be freaking out about this. If you do the right things as a seller, then you're going to fall in line just fine. You're going to be fine. But if you have these questionable practices, your kids just finish some Fruit Loops and you think, oh, this would be a great way to pack the next item I sell, well, you might be the person they're after. And it's time, guys. Change your ways. Figure out, watch these videos, not only my channel, other channels. Look at what eBay, in writing, wants from their sellers and fall into line. Now, I know there's a lot of people who hate eBay, don't care for eBay, and certainly you don't have to sell on eBay. But if you do, you need to follow their rules, but don't be surprised when you don't get the sales and make the kind of money that you were hoping to make on this platform when you're not willing to follow their best practices and their policies. And I think this is sort of like the situation that we ran into all the time when I worked 
at the last place or the only place I really ever worked for 26 years. And we always used to say the company doesn't write the policy, the employees write the policy. And in this case, eBay is writing the policy, but it's because of what the sellers and many sellers have done to push away these buyers. And we got to do better, guys. I made that video as well. We have to do better. So roast me if you want, but I'm out here at 1 a.m. Most people wouldn't even bother to do that, but I care enough to set the record straight and just to give you another idea of what this policy is likely to be. So I'll just leave it at that. But uh, you know what? Sometimes, because eBay doesn't really communicate clearly with these websites, what they are and who they're intended for, uh, it makes things very confusing. And because of that, it makes what this channel is called Flippin' Ain't Easy. And I want you to check out one of these videos here that YouTube thinks you're going to like. And in the meantime, I want you guys to have an excellent rest of your day. Take care, everyone.